Hello everyone, I'm Angela from Internet Plans and today I'll be doing a plan with me for the week of 19th to 25th August 2024. So this is a busy week for work and school and I have a feeling I will not have much time for any personal stuff. But I tried to plan some personal ventures into my week so I don't feel as stressed as I anticipated this week to be. As I have done last week, I started with the washi tapes at the top and the bottom of the spread. This week, I borrowed so many books from the library and frankly, I have no idea why I did that because my schedule likely doesn't allow me any free time to spend on leisurely book reading. I want to try though because it has been a while since I read for fun and not for work. I went for a fairy tale and books themed washi set by Simply Gilded and got two Tombow brush pens with matching colours for the sidebar. Then I created my goals section which was to read two books, set up September planners and journals, as well as to cook dinner at least once, and then created my habit tracker for the week. Same as last week, I'm tracking my reading, journaling, and workouts. It took me a while, but I found a Happy Diet Be Kind to Yourself motivational sticker to put at the bottom of the sidebar. On Monday, I have a book talk to contact in a primary school in the morning, then I had a call with an insurance company maybe two hours later, since I'm going back home after the book talk, I decided to have my workout planned in the afternoon after lunch. I planned to read the book To Gaze Upon Wicked Gods by Molly X. Chang for a couple hours before doing a little bit of studying for school and then journaling at the end of the day. On Tuesday, it's another routine day. I went to the gym in the morning before work for some treadmill time before going for a meeting at work in the morning. The meeting lasted the whole day but we also travelled a little to collect something from another venue before going back to our library and continuing the meeting. At the end of the day, I planned and did buy a cup of bubble tea on the way home. Till next focus is to study for school because on Wednesday, my group will be meeting with our mentoring professor for the project we are working on. Wednesday was a chill day. I worked from home, so I of course slept in a little bit. I planned to clear some emails before trying to work out but knowing me, if I started the day lazy, working out is likely out of the picture. I have an online meeting in the afternoon which I had accidentally booked the same timing as my doctor's appointment at the hospital. When I realised this as I was planning this day, I had a minor panic on how to make this work, but I managed to reschedule the meeting to an earlier timing, so I was fine. As I said just now, I had a meeting with my professor and that's after my doctor's appointment. And then right after that, I had a class. I was worried that meeting my professor with so little time available might cause me to be late to my class, but I had forgotten that my professor also had another class to conduct at the same timing. My friend told me just before the meeting and I was super relieved about that. I hoped I'd find it in me to journal after school, but voicing over this video right now on Saturday, I can tell you that I didn't. I built Thursday and Friday together because they were my off and rest days. I looked for a cute day of stickers for both days, then used the sleep in sticker for both days. I want to go to the gym since I'm not working for both days, and that's where I stopped having the same activities. On Thursday, I wanted to cook dinner, so I planned to get groceries. I allocated some time to finish the book I started on Monday then actually cook the dinner I've been planning all week. The plan was actually cancelled on Thursday because my sister announced she was going to cook some Japanese curry that night. I guess my mistake was that I didn't announce my plans. I wanted to edit and schedule the upload of this plan with me video on Thursday, but obviously I didn't do that and my video isn't likely to be uploaded until maybe Sunday. On Friday after working out, I wanted to go to the salon for a hair wash, then I had to finish some readings for my Saturday class. I also wanted to set up my September planners and journals, but I didn't manage to do so because I realised I had more readings to do after the meeting with my professor on Wednesday. I spent the whole of Friday just forcing myself to complete all the readings I had to do, but I also received my once more with the sticker order on Friday and that makes up for the stressful Friday I had. I had school on Saturday and frankly, I had wanted to go to the gym in the morning, 
but because of the readings I had to do, I actually slept pretty late at 3am. I didn't have it in me to wake up early enough to go to gym before school. I also had a work thing to go to, so I left school early to go to the library for the workshop. Because I left school early, I was expected to submit some worksheets as a replacement for my class engagement, so I would need to rush that out on Saturday night. And then, hopefully, I get to do some planning at the end of the day. On the last day of the week, I have work that's going to take up most of my day. I'd have to wake up a little early and I'll get to go home about 5pm. But if I'm not too exhausted after work, I hoped I would feel up to filming a Plan With Me video for the 26th August to 1st September week and do some accounting before turning in for the night. So that's the end of my plan with me. I hope you liked the video, I loved making it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!